this tonight. Uh, you know that new enemy I mentioned? It's me. Well, it's not really me. Uh, to be exact, it's my physical remainings from back in 1993. Uh, yeah, I've been here for a while, if you couldn't guess by my knowledge of these ghosts. Uh, this character is going to send you a voicemail onto your computer's e-phone client, and if you don't delete it fast enough, the computer will autoplay it and probably cause him to find you really quickly. However, the hard thing about this is that deleting these voicemails requires a password. To find the password, switch to the camera that contains the purple curtains. It's camera 4. There's going to be a sign in there once the message reaches you, and this displays the password, which you quickly need to type in. The e-phone autoplay gives you some time, but there's something that doesn't. The reason the curtains are pushed aside is that the character is in there and is going to begin making his way to your office once the message reaches you. If you're in front of the computer or doors in the general area when you're in your room, you're fox food. So be really quick about typing in the password and instantly go to the other side of the room so he doesn't see you when he comes to look for you. And never look into camera 3 when he's out. Okay, now that the important stuff to your survival is out of the way, I'm going to explain my plan. If you've been listening to the tapes you've collected, they include recordings of yourself and your friends, uh, and him as well. Uh, these obviously aren't real recordings, but instead memories of your messed up childhood compressed into a physical form. My idea is that collecting all these may allow you and your friends to move on from purgatory and become free ghosts. Basically facing your past would make you get over it. Make you uh, find your peace. So, for your sake, find all of them. Talk to you later.
that might appear take behaviors like the ones I mentioned to you earlier in my call, so uh, it'll be easy for you to figure out how to deal with them by simply looking at what places they appear in. This allows me to focus more on telling you about my plants, so as you might have guessed, there's tapes in my uh, dimension of this place as well. Uh, these contain memories that are obviously based on my past, which, just like yours, is heavily connected to Freddy's. That's why I'm in the same purgatory as you, I suppose. Every story has a beginning and an end. And then there's another part after the end. This little hidden epilogue that nobody expects. That, in this case, is uh, this entire place. Our stories are connected and so are our lives and deaths. I tried connecting all my tapes, but I didn't manage to get all of them. I only had one day each. They, uh, they never return. Only once can you find them. The, the rules of this place sure are weird. Uh, these ten knights decide about uh, freedom or purgatory for all of us. John, please, for the love of God, don't mess up like I did. All these poor little children are just trapped in here, roaming as mechanical monsters with, without any choice but to try and kill. It's, it's pretty sad to watch, to be honest. But hey, maybe you can put an end to this. Uh, talk to you later, I hope.